Good evening, everyone, here on CW14. While there's football over on Fox 11, once again, the holiday spirit is taking over Northeast Wisconsin. We're beginning the busiest weekend of the season for Christmas parades, but this season, petitioners hoping to recall the governor are also joining the festivities. Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz has our balanced coverage tonight from Shawano. The art of the holiday parade. They always have a band, spirit, and of course, candy. However, this year, across the state, people hoping to remove Governor Scott Walker from office can also be found. And in Shano, it was no difference. We just figure we'll, we'll catch the people that can't get to town while our office is open. And the fact that they were right here it made it a lot easier for me than having to drive around and find where I can sign up the recall. Legally, there isn't anything wrong with the petitioners collecting signatures out here. But ethically, some people have a problem with it. To come out in a Christmas parade and have it where you're trying to have people sign for it on the holiday parade, that's not right. The people behind the recall effort say it does have something to do with the holidays. If we can take back the state and, and straighten out what he has dismantled, That'd be a big Christmas present. Then that would be a big Christmas present. You have an office in town. If people want to go there, let them go there. Recall supporters say they will continue to parade from holiday event to event until they collect the signatures they need. In Shano, Ben Crumholz, Fox 11 News. Now to force a recall election, more than 540,000 valid signatures need to be turned in by the 17th of January. Earlier this week, the United Wisconsin Coalition reported it has collected 300,000.